Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I should start saying that because um, it doesn't make sense if you've never been here before and I say welcome back. Anyway, today's video is an extremely late deck of panning update. This is only my, this is my first update, I think, of the year. And it's June 1st today. <laughs> so, not been doing great on keeping up with filming or projects and whatnot. So a lot of my videos this year will probably be updates to projects because that's what I, I have time to film, I guess. So, I do have three products rolling out today. But I also have things that I haven't used at all yet. So I'm kind of like I have mixed feelings about this. We'll just get into it. So the first thing I have is for the prompt primer. Oh, I'm I'm so rusty <laughs> at filming. I forgot to say the deck of panning project was created by Emily from Emily and Max and was inspired by Books with Maddie. I always leave their um, channels linked below. There's a link to the game board and to Emily's intro and how-to video So just check those out because she's the creator of the project So she explains everything you need to know about it. I'm not gonna you know keep saying in every video But I do like to give credit. So I always want to mention This project was created by Emily from Emily and Max so the first product I pulled was for the prompt primer. This is th something I have not used yet and I was really thinking it would be a very easy product because it's actually just a deluxe sample. This is the RMS Beauty Re-Evolve Radiance Locking Primer. But I do have a reason why I haven't used this yet and it's because I am almost finished a full size primer. My VDL Lumi Layer Primer Fresh Sorry, I have the window open because it's way too hot in here if I don't and there's a lot of noises But hopefully it's not too bad <clears throat> when I edit Look how close I am to finishing this product Look at that. I would say There's like three uses left in here and I really just want to get this out this won't even, like, I can't even put this back in my primer drawer anyway, so it just needs to go. There's no room for it. It expired in 2021, apparently. I just need it out of here. I do really like it, but it's fine. I don't think it is it exists anymore. Um, so I was hoping, like, once I'm done with that, then I'll use this up. And that'll be two primers out of my collection, because I do count deluxe samples as products in my inventory so that's very exciting if I ever get to it but so far no uses on that and it is a use up goal um the next product was for the prom powder I I should be wearing my glasses but I feel like it's too distracting when I'm filming because you see the ring of my mirror in in them anyway this the powder for the prompt powder Too Faced peach perfect i mentioned in my whole collection intro i was like i don't understand what i was thinking putting this in two products in two projects when i have use goals you know it didn't make sense they were overlapping but this is now rolled out of both of those projects so I don't have to worry about that anymore because I did have a 10 use goal on this I've far surpassed that I've been using this every time I do my makeup but I only put it um, in this area so I'm not using a lot of it at a time but I am using it which is good so this is going back to my collection of course it's it's not finished and this is a mini did I even say it's the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder? So, again, another product that doesn't exist anymore, but I'm going to keep it because I actually really like that. Um, the next prompt was for Peach Fuzz. So, of course, I pulled another Too Faced Peach product. 
This is my Too Faced Papadome Peach Blush. And I had a 10 use goal on this and I've surpassed that one too, but I stopped counting at 10. And this used to be my favorite blush. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it has some good use on it because I'm wearing away the embossing. Um, yeah, this used to be my favorite blush and it's not anymore because it's not the kind of tone of blush that I want. I want something that you can see that there's color to my skin. Like this one I'm wearing today, that's the kind of blush I like or even more, something more punchy, especially in the spring and summer. So this hasn't been doing it for me anymore because it's very subtle. Um, yeah, if you can tell, like, I also think it's kind of expired because it feels a lot drier than it used to. That's the shade. See, it's very light. It kind of just like blends into my skin. But I will also say when I use this blush, I don't use a highlighter because it has enough glow on its own. So that's one thing. It's like a two-in-one <laughs> product. But yeah, just not loving this as much as I used to. It feels a bit dry and it's getting like very bumpy. If you can see how it gets very bumpy. I don't know if that's good, but it still works and it smells good. So I'm not going to get rid of it, but... Anyway, that's going back to my collection. The next prompt was matte. So I pulled my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. I, I've i talked about this so many times on this channel. It always gets pulled into something, a Shop My Stash or a project. And I do really like this concealer. I like the formula, but I hate the packaging. I almost just want to get rid of it but I shouldn't, I don't know. But it's starting to really bother me <laughs> because it does this. I've showed this many times. Look at all that product because I think it's that the doe foot is too wide for this tube and it creates like a suction. So whenever you pull this out of the tube, it pulls all the product up with it and it gathers all along the sides like i just feel like i'm wasting this whenever i use it but i really like it as a um spot concealer not as an under eye concealer Ugh, and look the, it's just like wearing away it's really bothering me i don't even think i didn't even buy this i got this from makeup forever back when my cousin like snuck me on the pr <laughs> on the PR list. It's the shade 2.3 but I can't get rid of it for some reason. I might one day just get way too annoyed with it but anyway that's going back in my collection. Um, the next prompt was for pencil and I pulled this Physicians Formula Rose Kiss All Day Velvet Lip Color because it is a pencil form and I really like this. It does smell weird, like floral, fruity, but not bad, just it has a scent. And it's in the shade Pillow Talk. And I remember I originally purchased this to see if it was a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, but it's not. It's not the same shade at all. It's like this deep rosy tone and Pillow Talk is more like a neutral pink on me at least if I remember I haven't used it in a while but it's a lot lighter than this um but yeah I do like this type of product but I'm not rolling this out because I only use it twice twice out of 10 times and the next product I'm the next and last product I'm not rolling out this is terrible. My Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I pulled this for the, sh the prompt Warm Tone because as you probably know, this is a Warm Tone palette. I haven't used this once and I only had a 5 use goal. So that's not good. Because Well, the issue is 
Whatever I'm wearing eyeshadow lately is when I'm filming, but I've been filming new product videos, so I haven't been using the eyeshadow palettes in my Shop My Stash or in my other projects, so I have to get back to that. But that's staying, which is fine because this is, to me, a summer palette, so hopefully I will get around to using it at least once. Anyway, so I am rolling out those three products, the powder, the blush, and the concealer. So that leaves me with three products. I think I will choose three more prompts. For some reason, I like having six products in this, in this project. It's a good even number, I guess. So I'm gonna put these away and I will get out my deck of cards and pull up the game board and I'll be back. Okay, I am back and I had to put my glasses on because I just can't see that far. I'm looking at my desktop computer at the game board and I have my um, deck of cards already shuffled off camera because I'm terrible at shuffling and I did remove one joker as usual because there's two in this deck and yeah let's just pick three cards i pick from the top so <clears throat> let's let's go i'm scared ace of spades okay the ace of spades is get out of jail free card okay i think i've had that before so that doesn't count as a prompt, but I can use that if I don't like another prompt. That's, I think that's correct. <laughs> so another, let's choose another one. Six of diamonds, right? Yes. The six of diamonds is gemstone. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, gemstone. Um, yes, I'm thinking of like any product I have that has the word like quartz in it or something. Um, or like emerald or ruby, something like that I think. Um, yeah, so that was my first one because the first card didn't count. Next is the queen of spades. Queen of Spades is Pick Your Space. Okay, there's two asterisks, asterisks, I can never say that word, next to that. So I'm gonna check in the prompts what that means. So it says pick a space on the main board, but it must match the suit you've drawn. Okay, I think that's new this year. So pick a space, but it has to be a spade. So we have vacation slash travel. We have Oh the Shame. So a product from your shameful new makeup drawer that you haven't touched. <laughs> um, broken. Okay. Most recent purchase. A lip product. Brand new. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That could be good. Because that means I can pick something that I can roll out quickly. Spray or influencer collab slash brand. Okay, that's a lot of decisions. I like all of those prompts, to be honest. I'm leaning towards Oh the Shame because that's my new makeup drawer. <laughs> For me and that could also cover the most recent purchase and the brand new categories so I think I'm gonna do that I will think about that and confirm later and then my last one is the ten of clubs the ten of clubs is a product you wish you returned I can probably definitely find one of those because I hardly ever return things unless they're broken. 
which is I just had to do a return actually at Sephora because I purchased a uh, the Cheekbone Beauty Blush and Bronzer Duo and it was totally like smashed into powder when I received it so that was very sad because I was very excited to have that and I got it on sale but now I, I don't have it <laughs> anymore anyway okay so I guess I didn't need my get out of jail free card this would have been useful if I had the Joker and I probably would have used it for that. I think it, I think that's what happened to me recently, no? I don't remember. But I'm not gonna need this. So I'm gonna put it back, I think. I think you don't keep it. I don't know. I'm overthinking this, I think. <laughs> anyway, those are my three things. So I will go and choose three products and I'll be back to show you what I chose. Okay, I'm back and I have my three products here. So for the Six of Diamonds, right? Gemstone, yes. So I didn't want to have to go through my whole collection and find something gem gemstone related. So I used my um, Tiny Decisions app and I was like, I'll just go through every category and roll five times until I find, <laughs> until I land on something gemstone-y. And what happened is when I got to my eyeshadow um, category, the first roll was the Huda Rose Quartz palette. And I was like, how perfect is that? So I don't actually know if quartz is a gemstone. Um, I'm not, I don't know about stones that much. I'll, I know about crystals, but I don't know if that overlaps with gemstones. I don't know, gemstones. So either way, I felt like this fit the prompt enough and I have actually never used this palette, which is very sad. This could also have been an oh the shame um, product. But that's what it looks like if you're not familiar. It is beautiful. I don't know what's stopping me from reaching into the, well, I do know. It's because I have like 200 eyeshadow palettes, let's be honest. But, you know, there's shades in here called Quartz, Love Stone, things like that. So I guess it's gemstone-y. And I will do 5 use goal on this because it's a full eyeshadow palette and I'm not going to pick a specific shade. I'm just going to want to use this 5 times. We'll see how that goes. Um, then for the Queen of Spades, which was the, oh, well, it was pick your space but it had to be a spade and I picked Oh the Shame because I have an overflowing new makeup drawer as usual and I was going through it and I found this and I totally forgot that I even bought this so that to me fits the oh the shame category this is the Revlon serum tint I don't even remember where I got this that is not oh there's a sticker on it <laughs> I got it at shoppers drug mart but I didn't get this in Quebec because here Shoppers is called Pharmapri and that says Shoppers. So I honestly have no clue where this came from. <laughs> That's not good. But I have the shade Light Beige and I guess something about this spoke to me. I guess I was in the mood to try some a new complexion product from the drugstore which is funny because I just filmed a drugstore try on haul and I bought two more complexion products and you'll see the next one very soon but I don't know something about this I guess because it's called Illuminance Serum Tint I thought it would be something I would like it's a squeeze tube which is weird and it says it has ginger root vitamin C and vitamin E so let's try this Skincare infused makeup, light to buildable coverage, soft satin finish. Okay, 
Okay, um, we're only gonna do five uses on this because I don't wear complexion products every time I do my makeup. I only do like concealer and primer kind of, so I think five is fair. And the last thing, so for the prompt, Wish You Returned, that was actually very difficult. I feel like I'm getting lower and lower as I speak. That was very difficult for me because I don't feel like I buy things that I hate so much that I would return them. First of all, I've mentioned this before, I don't like returning things. It makes me feel like guilty and like I'm wasting stuff. I only return things, like I said, when they're broken. Um, so, I don't know. But, I didn't want to spend like all day trying to figure this out either. So I just pulled this product that I'm actually wearing today. I just tried it for the first time. It doesn't necessarily fit the wish you returned because I literally just tried it today, but I didn't love it and I don't feel like it's the right shade for me, but I can't return this because I got it in, I got it at Ulta and I live in Canada. So I'd have to go like all the way back <laughs> to Ulta, which by the way is only like an hour and 20 minutes from here, but I'm not gonna go, you know, wait at the border to return a product. But I probably would return this if I lived in the States. At least I would exchange it maybe for a different shade to see if I liked it. But yeah, I'm not loving this. Um, it looks okay. It's not terrible, but it's not, I feel like it's too orange on me. And it's not what I thought it would be. It's not hydrating, like in the sense that it's not, it doesn't feel like dewy or it doesn't feel hydrating on my skin. So I'm not loving this. So that's why I picked this product. But I guess now that means I have to use it more <laughs> because it's in this project now. So I will do five uses on this same so everything today is five uses i think that's fair considering i don't wear makeup every day and i actually want to you know rotate through my products so that's everything for this video i hope you liked it there's more car sounds outside i hope you liked this video anyway and if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye